Lakers back up nine. And a whistle and a foul. It's going to go against Schroeder. Schroeder can't believe it. Peyton almost looked like he was starting to argue that he thought the foul was going to be on him. And it's a great call by John Goble. All this grabbing and diving to the ground, pulling guys with you. We have to start eliminating this stuff. The, we give the call too often to the first guy to f flail, fake, embellish, flop. Where are the fines? It used to be $5,000. Where is that? What has happened to that? You know, for a while, after they started doing that, you saw a real de decrease in the flops, but it is starting to appear way too much, Jeff. You're right. Shot clock winding down. Thompson jumper is good. Of course, after game four, Steve Kerr said the Lakers played with gamesmanship. They took flops and were rewarded. Darvin Ham responded after game five. We don't teach flops. Part of the gamesmanship between the coaches. And in fairness, both teams do it offensively and defensively and it makes it so tough as a referee to read and make these calls James a three knocks it down 13 first half points for James Lakers back up by 10 and just to finish the flopping night the reason they do it is it works they get the calls the league needs to bring the hammer down and the officials need to punish the floppers Oh, you're a little angry over here. I'm sick of it. You ever think about picking up the phone and calling the commissioner and giving them your thoughts? I think I did it about 10 years ago on the air with Mike with the Commissioner Stern, Nick Miami game. I think they, I think the commissioner threatened, uh, Commissioner Stern threatened me with like a hundred another $100,000 <laughs> fine. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.